Hello, my name is Matthew Groth and I'm the Western Regional Sales Manager for Wheel & Engineering. Hi, my name is David Ibbotson. I'm the Tech Support Group Supervisor. Today, we're here to answer some of your questions on social media as it relates to B2B and DVI. The first question, is Wheeland going to launch more DVI patterns? Currently, we don't have anything in the, in the plan to launch any DVI patterns that are new. However, we do continuously monitor the field and do accept any requests that you guys may have. There is a potential to do that. Uh, if there's enough of a market where the customers are demanding certain patterns, it is possible. We also have to make sure that they meet certain standards. Um, but I, yeah, anything's possible. All right, next question. Can a duo pattern sync with a solo pattern? For example, can a Signal Alert 75 sync with a Duo Sync Alert? Yes, as long as they are set to the same flash rate. So typically when you're looking to sync those patterns, um, specifically using B2B or what have you, there's a certain timing for all the patterns. So depending on how that timing is, it may look like it's in sync or it may not. But typically what we say in tech support is if you really want to make it the best or look most optimal is to use the same exact patterns. Next question, are there plans to release more DVI patterns built into more light heads activated by a DVI wire or any DVI flasher units if customers don't want a full ecosystem? The answer is we already have several DVIs patterns in light heads. An example is our M-Series. And I will tell you that we also have plans to add more of this into an ecosystem in future products. It's also built into a lot of our WeCanX products and when you're selecting the actual patterns through command or through software. Um, is it possible? Sure. Uh, again, if the demand is there, it's possible to add anything as long as we can still w meet the customer's needs and meet the certification for those particular patterns. Next question. Love DVI but I wish it was a little brighter. DVI patterns have the same peak as our traditional light head. It's only that ramp up and ramp down that sometimes gives the perception that it may not be as bright or maybe too dim. So the brightness of a DVI pattern, not necessarily that you're not seeing that brightness, it's the way that it actually gets to that particular brightness. There's a ramp up and a ramp down with most DVI patterns that are, you're not gonna see that full burst or flash. So if the brightness is still there, the distance of that seeing that brightness may be there, um, but it's not as um, confronting, I guess you could say. <laughs> Next question, is DVI SAE certified? We have several DVI patterns that are already SAE certified. If you look on the command software under the actual patterns, you can look up SAE patterns and it'll list the ones that are. All right, next question. Do vehicles with vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle sync synchronize with other departments that have wheel and core? The answer is yes. Any department that has the V2V sync module and is compatible with our core system will sync via GPS time clock. As long as it's enabled and they're using similar patterns, or similar timing patterns, that syncing will be shown and you can actually use it across departments. Next question, is there a lead vehicle when V2V sync is being utilized? The answer is no. All vehicles operate on a GPS time clock, so when V2V is engaged, they all sync up using that time clock. Next question, are there daytime, nighttime DVI patterns? The answer is yes. You can actually choose those patterns within command and choose whether you want daytime or nighttime. Daytime patterns are typically a little bit brighter to make sure that you can still see them during the day. The nighttime patterns will be a little less bright so that you can actually see a little bit better at night with them and they're not as bright. Next question. We like the idea of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle sync. However, we have limited space in our vehicle. Are there any plans to incorporate V to V inside your core module? The answer is yes and no. We don't have plans to incorporate V to V inside the core module itself, but we do already have available the opportunity to include V to V in two of our premium bars, such as our Legacy Bar and our Liberty Bar. 